Mike check. Mike check. Yeah. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about NBA 2K19. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but this right here is literally the biggest news that we have for NBA 2K19. And this is confirmed. This is actual. This is factual. This is confirmed from a 2K dev. If you guys don't know who Mike Wang is, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys acquainted in this video. But just let everyone know. Everything that I speak on after I let you guys know the news is all speculation, but let's get into it. All right, guys, so today's video is about Mike Wang tweeting out that defense is a major focus for 2K19 and that the lockdown bill will be a strong build. Now, there's a lot of things that you guys can take from that tweet, but I want to actually just talk about it for a second real quick before we deep dive into it. Now, me personally, I have never made any defensive position in NBA 2K at all. No matter what build I've always made, I've never focused on defense, whether it be primary or secondary. And I've never kind of treated myself on being one of those guys that only focus on the defensive part of the game. I mainly focus on offense and just trying to dunk on people's heads and maybe shoot some shot creating shots in people's face. But when it comes to defense in NBA 2K18, some would say that it's non-existent because of all the endless blow-by animations. But then others will then say, well, I get a lot of steals, mostly because they're spamming a steal button, or they're getting a lot of great bump animations by knowing where to be at the right moment for the ball to drop out of the offensive player's hands. Now, me personally, I am a victim of bump steals. I've sometimes been a victim of spamming steals only at like half court situations where a player might block you and, you know, cut you off. And, and for you trying to get around them, you have to potentially go the other way. A bump steal might happen or a backcourt violation might happen because a player is spamming still. Now, as far as lockdown defenders go, I really don't see lockdown defenders being great at all in NBA 2K18. Me, myself, I was a playmaking shot creator, and they gave me a defensive stopper badge, which meant my badge kind of dropped their badges from certain parts of the way. So, say, for instance... I guarded a pure sharpshooter. Now, if this person had limitless range, dead eye, everything like that, whenever they shot the ball in my face, their badges would get knocked down. And sometimes they would miss their shots. There would be some miraculous moments where they were still green it. They were still all netted. They were still hitting in my face. But most of the time as a playmaking shot creator, I was able to knock a couple people off their pyramid real fast. Now, as far as 2K19 goes, right? If Mike Wang is saying that defense is going to be a focus for that game, I don't know how many players will say, well, you know what? Ding, I'm going to go ahead and create a defensive player to run the offense or to be a piece of the offense. I don't I just don't feel like lockdown defenders will get an uplifting, you know, type of sense from this tweet. Maybe we'll have to see it when it, it comes out in game form. When you see attributes, when you see what the, the pros and the cons are of these builds. But let's go ahead and deep dive into it. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys over to Twitter. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at iPod King Carter. But we're going to go ahead and look at Mike Wayne's tweet and just read some of the replies, go through it, see what the, the general consensus of it is. And then, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments to talk about it. So the thing that sparked this conversation and this news actually was somebody named KingBook3 on Twitter. He asked Mike Wang straight up, are lockdowns actually going to be usable next year? He wanted to know for people to have weak strength like pure sharps, he wanted to know if they will stop being able to blow by him and will defense be a focus for once. Now, I'm guessing that that for once came out of frustration, of course, but basically Mike Wang said to him, defense is a major focus for 2K19, locks will be a very strong build. Now, this is what I take from that tweet. When it comes to strength, does that mean that lockdown defenders will be stronger so blow-by animations won't work on them, per se? Will blow-by animations still exist in the game? Does that mean that lockdown defenders 
will somehow be able to have some type of mechanic where if a player is just trying to charge their way through another player, will you get that automatic charge cheese back a couple 2Ks ago? Or will it be one of those moments where maybe a lockdown defender will have bruiser and this, your strength and stamina will go down when you're trying to force yourself into that lockdown defender? You know what I mean? But let's go ahead and go down because if I start going on a, a tyrant about a bunch of different, you know, thoughts of, that I have, we'll never get through this video. So funny thing is, uh, King Book actually added Brutal Sim, but um, I'm not sure if he responded back to him. Now, I came out of nowhere and I just was like, you know, so Lockdown Defenders will still be the name of the build and will spamming Square for still be addressed towards these builds. Now, I'm thinking about everything generally. I'm just thinking about, you know, if we're going to stop cheesing with the blow by animations and everything and defense is going to be a focus does that mean that since defense is going to be a focus will everything be addressed defensively i'm talking about all cheese all around the board every type of craft they have yes that was a cheese pun but i'm just trying to make sure that you know nothing will be crazy now the crazy thing is king bug hit me back and was like if locks don't get favorable animations where we stop a ball handler for dribbling more often and negate blow buys, then square all we got. Now you feel his pain, right? Because if you're a lockdown defender, you have to feel his pain. Now, somebody else said, Mike, thank you for speaking to the community for once. Now, are there going to be any patches for 2K18 or are you guys focused only on 2K19 from this point? Now, to answer this, I'm going to have to say they're totally focused on 2K19. It is almost summertime. 2K18 was done patches ago. I believe that the last patch that they had was right before the 2K E League started up. That was one of the final patches, man. So I don't think that 18 is going to get any more patches up until now. Hey, shoot me if I'm wrong, but that's just my personal feeling. Now, check this out. Thoughts of a sign said, are slashers actually going to be efficient like layups? Because slashers are forced to dunk in order to score. Now, the crazy thing is about that. Every build in the game actually has to either dunk if they drive to the rack. If any build goes up for a layup, it's a 50-50. That's just the way I feel about it. So I feel like, hey, if slashers, you know, can get past their defender and go up for a layup, Maybe we need to have that relentless finisher bump up a little bit. But as far as I'm concerned, everybody is feeling this layup debacle. I'm not sure why, but layups just, oh my God, it's just so many problems with that. Now, uh, pure slides are easy to defend because they're slow, don't have dribbles or a shot. Now, you know, these guys, they just went back and forth about the slashers. Now, this person said, in 2K19, will it be balanced on both sides? Because to be honest, in 18, the only problem was the blow by, snatch back paint defense the ball going through bodies like we are invisible now for the ball for the ball going through the body like you're invisible that's the people that are relying on those bump steals those are the people that are saying you know what i'm right next to you the ball shouldn't go through my body a bump still should happen and we should be going the other way and this is without pressing the square button um as far as paint defense I feel like pain defense is definitely something that needs to be touched up because as a max weight athletic rebounder that I created, that player still even has problems in the paint trying to actually defend smaller guys like pure stretch fives and stuff like that. So, hey, I feel them. Snatchbacks. Snatchbacks are easy to do, but they come at a price. If you do do a snatchback, you tend to get great space, but sometimes snatchbacks can send you into other animations if you don't just pull up. So I've seen people do a snatchback, and then when they do a snatchback, they try to do like another behind the back crossover, lose the ball. A lot of a lot of different small animations, but that wasn't with builds like playmaking shot creators. Anybody that has playmaking in their build, if they do a snatchback and they have difficult shots. It's a GG. <laughs> That's the way I feel about that. Now, uh, okay, he's paying attention. Okay, to be honest, fix animation. We do a layup, backboard. Okay, pass, damn cutscene. See, now, at this point, we're starting to get into that people can't stand, you know, part of the game, whatever the case may be. But check this one out. Being a pure lockdown is a good thing to hear, but in 18, I can not guard the blow by at 225 pounds. But I have a PG that is weak 180 pounds and that guards players way better. You might be right. It's all about lateral quickness. Now, 
this was a problem that me and a couple of my uh, Discord homies were talking about. Make sure you guys check out my Discord. Link in the description, by the way. But we were talking about that. We were talking about lateral quickness as far as playmaking shot creators, uh, sharpshooting playmakers, uh, sharpshooting shot creators. Like, we were all talking about the pure sharps. We were all talking about lateral quickness. Lateral quickness is the ability from get to one spot to the next spot, moving side to side. And if you can't get to one spot fast enough, you're going to catch that blow-by animation every single time. Now, players were telling me how, why is it weird that iPod can guard a pure sh uh, slasher, but I can't? And I'm a sharpshooting uh, playmaker at 6'3", and these people might be a, a sharpshooting shot creator at 6'8". I'm like, I mean, well, I mean, I, technically I am faster, but there should be some type of level gap, I guess, as far as like speed goes, where you know for a fact that, okay, if you're a small forward guarding a small forward, small forward speed shouldn't be too much, you know, uh, at a disadvantage when they're guarding a different build. It shouldn't be that bad, you know, defensively. I don't, I don't think that all the def um, defense should be the same for all player builds. But I don't think there should be that much of a drop off, especially for players that work at that craft. So say, for instance, they're working on their defensive bars. Instead of giving us a, um, a randomized choice of what bars you want to give us, how about you let us choose what bars we want to upgrade again for next year? That's just a little thing I'm throwing out there. That's like a wish list thing. But uh, yeah, it's just, you know, look, um, but see, yeah, but when you're a build that has a sharpshooter in it, and you're missing for 50% of the time. See these see people are getting in an argument in the comments. But um also Brickstar is not cheesy. We see K Love, LeBron, Lonzo, D Wade, and many make more decent passes down court. Like I'll try to make a good decent pass down court. And then the receiver does a dumb animation. Like who mo capped that? That's another problem, you know. So it's a lot of problems that other people try to bring into this whole defensive thing. But my thing is let me, let me, matter of fact, let me get back on camera because, you know, the rest of these comments are just people showing problems in the game that 2K already knows about. You know, that 2K is already working on for 2K19. Hopefully, we'll get finished and done and, and fixed by 2K19. But let, let me get back on camera, man. All right. So, with all that being said, the way that I feel about Mike Wayne saying that defense is a focus for 2K19. I will have to say that that is no problem here with me as far as user to user. But please, with upgrading and fixing and working and toning and focusing on defense, please do not make playing the computer literally unplayable. That is my only hope and wish that doesn't happen. I hope that they don't make it unplayable versus the computer in my career. Now, with that being said, Bring back rookie. I mean, maybe the progression level, you guys can work on that as far as progressing badges, progressing uh, attribute bars. Maybe give us playing on higher difficulty again. Give us that times two and everything like that. Help us out. Don't have us try to meet a requirement to get to a certain overall to be getting extra stat boosts on things. If we play on rookie, give us the lowest. We play on pro, give us a little bump. If we playing on All-Star, give us another bump. We're playing on Superstar, give us a better bump. We're playing on Hall of Fame, you got to give us the max of the max max. If I do a snatchback three-pointer and I'm working on Dead Eye and I'm playing on Hall of Fame, you got to give me what I'm worth, right? You got to give me what I'm worth. But, you know, now I'm, I'm reaching outside of uh, defense right now. So let's say, for instance, I'm working on Charge Card. If you know God darn well, I'm never going to be able to get charge card because the computer is just that darn great at playing that. When I go online to Pro-Am and we're playing on Superstar, Sim, or whatever you want to call it, and I'm catching charges, my badge got to go up because I'm playing user versus user. Why don't you give us better attribute bars and points to our badges where we're playing against actual people? Since you know we can cheese the games against the computer... Why not give us more when we playing against actual users? Just a thought. But defensively, please, 2K, don't make it too hard for us to play the computer. I don't want to have to cheese the entire game. I actually want to have some fun. Also, don't make the builds too powerful. And what I mean by that is, 
if I have a sharpshooting lockdown defender, nothing like animation glitches should happen in the game, which means I should not have a sharpshooting lockdown defender doing speed boosts on me and just becoming the most OP build in 2K's history. Just imagine, 6-7 point guard with blow by animations, speed boosting, sharpshooting, he's tall enough to dunk, animation glitches, so you know he's taking off. Oh my God. And you can't blow by? You can't snatch back? And he's spamming the steal button all match? Oh. Oh. I don't even know what to say to that. Hey, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys turn on notifications. I got more content for you guys coming for 2K19. I got more conspiracy theories for you guys. But this is your boy IKC signing out. I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.